how to record iOS screen. Uh, this is a video I've already made like some time ago, but it turned out to be very popular, like one of my most popular videos with about 800,000 views. But new questions emerge along the way, and that's why I'm making this updated version uh, of this video. I will be answering these questions, so make sure to watch the video till the end so you get as much value out of this video as possible. Maybe I'll answer your question as well. So let me just quickly sum it up how you can actually do it. For this, you need to have an iOS device which runs at least iOS 11. It doesn't matter if it's an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. And first thing you have to do is to open up settings, then go to the uh, control center, like you go to these uh, this section here, and you had like customized controls. You click on this and make sure to find this. Uh, screen recording feature. Yeah, you can find it very easily among these. So just click on the, uh, the green plus and now it's going to appear in your control center. So you click on it, wait for the countdown and now the video is actually being recorded. On uh, the iPhones with the nod, you can see there is this uh, red time, but on uh, those older iPhones, uh, the upper part of the entire display is red when uh, the video is being recorded. So there is that, like a quick recap. But now let's talk about the questions. A lot of questions I get are because people are getting more into making YouTube videos, which is awesome. I love to see that. So the number one question I get, how can I upload it to YouTube? And this is kind of simple, to be honest. So after the screen recording is done, like you click on stop, the video is going to appear in your camera roll. So it's just as simple as that. And now you have a couple of options. You can either just open up YouTube, then click on plus, like video, and you can click on uh, the video that you want to upload and you just click on share and it's just going to be uploaded to YouTube through the actual YouTube app on your phone. So that is kind of simple, but you probably don't want to upload video like this. A lot of times when you are taking a, a screen record, the video is actually vertical. And as you probably know, that looks terrible on YouTube. Ratios are going to be off. It will just look weird. What you can do instead is to rather download some video editing software on your iPhone, like iMovie. You can uh, create a new project and import uh, the videos. So you can actually edit and tweak some of the things right here. It's actually very, very nice. And you can also download some other apps. I, for example, love the video joiner and trimmer. This one is a great app. I use it a lot of times to uh, like um, uh, edit my stories for Instagram and stuff when I'm on a go and I don't have my laptop around. So the other option you have is to share this video to your Mac or to somehow get it onto your computer and then use uh, video editing software, which is not specified for iOS, but you can use iMovie on your Mac. You can use uh, HitFilm. You can use Filmora if you're into that, or you can just use Premiere Pro or Final Cut if you have that. So there are plenty of options there, but the video will turn out to be so much better if you just put in a little bit more time. It's up to you, of course. A lot of times the content is the king, so it doesn't matter what the video looks like. If the content and the information is out there, it doesn't really matter all the time. So yeah, it depends on your situation, but you may want to think about uh, editing the video a little bit more, but this is like my opinion on this. Another question people have is they get notifications that don't want to be appearing in their video. And this is kind of obvious. And I get that you have this kind of problem, but and you don't want to turn off your Wi-Fi because you need internet for the video. But what you can do instead is to simply activate do not disturb mode. If you don't have that, just go to settings. It's just going to be very easy to find. No big deal right there. But just know that you can actually turn it on very easily. Now you will not get any notifications at all or depending on how you have it set up. And now you can easily just record the video and nothing is going to pop up and disturb you. Another question I got a lot under the video which I created is how to put in your sound. For example, you want to comment on what you are recording at the moment. So what you can do in this case is to simply go to your control center, just like we do all the time when we want to tweak uh, something and hold down or force press on uh, this 
toggle right there and here you have the little microphone toggle so if you click on it now the microphone is turned on meaning that if you start the video recording just like that you wait until the countdown you can see that uh, the volume rocker jumped all the way to the top and now it will actually record what I'm saying so if I just click uh, stop open up photos and uh, this is the brand new one if I raise my volume So just like you can notice, it had to record my voice. So it's pretty, it's pretty obvious what you can do with this, but it also works really well in everyday life. So my ultimate goal is to make this video accessible to as many people as possible. So if you find it at least a little bit helpful, what would help me is if you clicked on the like button so um, it can get higher in the YouTube algorithm and more people can actually see it and get their questions answered. If there is something I do not cover and you are actually interested in, what you can do instead is to follow me on Instagram. I don't have that many posts up at the moment. I don't get that many questions right now. So chances are I will get back to you. So make sure you follow me and shoot me a DM. I will try to get back to you very soon. So let's continue with the next one. And the next question, and this is something I I do understand I do get why people ask if you are using Netflix or uh, whatever streaming service out there uh, what happens if you try to screen record you probably don't want to just sell uh, the videos or episodes you probably don't want to do that but for example you just want to save it for yourself save it for later and uh, even though you can just click download within the app for example you want to have it in your camera roll so let me show you what happens short answer is that it just does not work but let me give you like an example what will happen so whatever episode you open up and now if you try to create a screen recording now right now even though the video has been saved and you could in theory see that it works once you open up uh, the photos you can see that it will just not work so it just cuts out of the parts with Netflix you can see it just doesn't allow you to do anything it used to be like this that you got a, like a screen or like a black screen when you were trying to record some episodes of the tv show or something but right now it just skips out of the parts completely another thing which is apparently not clear for a lot of people is because of some sort of new software update they are not able to record the way they want i'm not completely sure what i what you mean by that cuz apparently if you open up uh my settings and go to the software update page i'm running uh, the latest version of iOS at the moment actually not apparently I have to update but nonetheless I'm running iOS 13.3 which is uh, like the latest one of the latest versions so and I still can record a video screen recorder without any problem so again if you have some sort of additional problem just shoot me a DM and also make sure to follow me on Instagram another pretty often question I got is if you can record zoom calls and a lot of people do that right now and for if you for some reason would like to screen record it if the app actually allows you to do it then you won't have any problem the screen recording feature on ios works everywhere and if there is a specific app which does not allow you to do it just like with the netflix example you can see it just cuts out the parts where it just won't be able to so depending on your app depending on uh the thing that you want to do i mean just try it out it may work it may not i cannot tell you right now i don't know what exactly you're using but chances are that it won't if it's something that uh, allows you to record other people and get potentially into their private sphere or something then the developers may decide not to allow that but yeah again just try it out and just probably may or may not work who, who can tell that if the question is uh, what's going on with the air show or with all of the other apps that we used to get in jailbreak or from some third-party app stores out there which used to do the same thing i mean yes you can in theory somehow get it 
even right now. I mean, uh, it's still possible, but you don't really need to. If you would like to use uh, this feature to uh, like record Snapchat, uh, then I would say like, don't be creepy, I guess. But if you want to be creepy, then uh, just download uh, the Snapchat Plus Plus and you don't have to care about anything then. But um, yeah, I wouldn't use screen recording for Snapchat. Perhaps Snapchat will get uh, some update that you have no idea about because it happens automatically and uh, this may end up in uh, the other person seeing that you took a screenshot or screen recorded it. So I wouldn't really advise you to do anything when it comes to that. So uh, I guess that this were all of the questions. If you have anything else that you would like to ask, I may make uh, the next series because uh, that's like the whole point of this to get it or to as many people as possible and to make it as uh, useful and as clear to everybody out there as possible. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial, this video, whatever you want to call it. And if you don't want to miss future videos like these, if you want to get or to stay updated, then make sure you subscribe to the Apple Facts channel. We're still growing, we're growing slowly. So if you want to help that, it would be great and you can help with your thumbs up as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe. See you guys later.